Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So a lot of you have been sending me messages asking about time management. So whether you are a new student or, you, or you've been in school for a while, you will quickly start to realize that time management is very difficult. So you have to figure out how to study, how to find time to eat, how to find time to work, how to find time to be with your family, how to find time to just sort of be you um, and have a little bit of a life. But more importantly, you might have seven tests one week, two tests the next week, homework assignments, projects, um, group presentations, everything that you have to prepare for. And your teachers don't care how many tests or assignments or quizzes you have for other classes. They are only concerned with their own. When I was a student, I remember thinking, don't the teachers ever talk to each other to just sort of say, well, they have a test on Monday. So don't give them a test on Monday, give them a test on Tuesday instead. But typically they don't talk to one, um, one another. They don't, really, they don't really care, I guess, as horrible as that sounds, but they don't really care what the other teacher has planned. So time management is a huge thing. And if you don't have it down pat, it can mean the difference between a pass and a fail. And you might have come to realize that already. And I'm not saying this to scare you, but I'm saying this so you can start to prepare yourself. So the best thing that you guys can do is to either buy a calendar, buy, buy an agenda, buy a planner, you know, anything. Find something that works for you so that you are able to see per week and then per month how many tests, um, assignments you have, projects, um, presentations that you have to prepare for, quizzes, you know, all of that. Um, you might have to prepare for a clinic, you might have to prepare um, a little bit more for your labs, you know, but make note of everything. So then I would suggest, say the Sunday the week before, look at the week that you have coming up and then make a choice, make some, some um, choices and make some decisions of when you are going to study for what topic, when you are going to have some free time, you know, things like that. When I was a student, I pretty much planned hour per hour. So I did have to work after school, not every day. Um, I don't really remember to be honest now, but some weeks it was every day, but then other weeks it was maybe four times a week, three times a week. Um, I worked mainly on the weekends though too, but as you can imagine, me trying to study after school was impossible if I had to work. But I would always study after work and just before I went to sleep because after work you're pretty, you know, hyped up, right? So you can't sleep right away anyway. So I would study for at least an hour after that, and that would make me tired. But then at least I knew that, that I was able to get at least an hour of studying in every single day. And I say this because it's a good idea to get at least two hours in every day if you can, and up to six hours of studying a day at the most. So let's say you have a test Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So let's say that you have a test every single day start to study for those tests um, a couple weeks, um, at least a week before, but I suggest at least a couple weeks. That way, if you're only able to study, let's say an, an hour every single day, then start two weeks beforehand. So then by the time your test comes up, you'll feel pretty confident, right? But let's say you don't have to work. Then you might not necessarily have to study two weeks beforehand because you will have at least, let's say, four hours a day to study. So that's a lot easier for you. Um, you know, see how if you have, let's say, four hours a day to study, you can get a lot more done than if you only have an hour a day. So look at sort of what your schedule is. Um, if you have prior... Um, commitments. Say you have a uh, extracurricular activity after school every day, or you have you watch your your niece every Saturday. I don't know something like that. But if you have prior commitments, that's okay. But try to work around them because in school you need to make sure to pass right, and you will come with a lot. Like you will have to do a lot and it does become overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. The best thing to do is to stay organized. Um, so that's where a planner comes in. So then at least you can see what you have to do per week and then per month and then plan out per day sort of what you're doing in the morning, the afternoon, you know, evening. And then also though, 
make sure to give your, um, yourself some time away from all of that. So go shopping, see a movie, watch a bunch of TV shows on Netflix, you know, something, anything, because you should not have to study all day, every day, because that will not help either. You might feel like you have to because you have so many tests, assignments, and projects, but that's not helping you either. So there is such a thing as studying too much. So does that make sense so far, everybody? So the best thing to do for time management is to write everything down and then plan per week. And no waste of time. You know, if you're planning to study four hours a day, but you are also checking your cell phone, checking social media, then that's not full on studying, right? So when you are studying or working on projects, put the cell phone away, um, do not go on the computer, just sort of do that for a good like four hours and then that's it. So does that make sense? So good luck everybody. If you're a new student, you will soon see how it can be very overwhelming, but it is possible if you stay organized, okay? So um, good luck, and if you guys need any help, just let me know.